The Big Con, brought to you by the Fed, the government, and of course, VP Harris. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Bottom Line for Sunday, September the 1st. We are here. And of course, tomorrow is Labor Day. Hope you have a good holiday. Uh, And it's been an interesting week from the market standpoint and from just about any other standpoint that we could we could talk about. But of course, the con that we are being sold, the bill of goods that we're being sold now is 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 kind of strange. Uh, Suddenly, we're going to get a rate cut, uh, according to the Federal Reserve. And uh, I guess so. I'm going to ask you, what would a rate cut do now Uh, if inflation is still high? but yet they're going to cut rates. Does it make sense since the average American can't afford a house anyways, since the average American is in a a recession? But let's just walk in through and and look at this. Okay, if you cut rates and you stimulate the economy, are you not stimulating inflation once again? Are you not going to see a hike in inflation? And I, I would like to bet anybody that if they cut rates, which they shouldn't, okay, then you're going to see inflation skyrocket once again. But of course, your government wants to have the rate cut because A, it makes Harris look good for a president, and B, it increases inflation, which increases the tax base because, of course, you pay taxes, which is known as the hidden tax of inflation. Okay, Because all the goods and services that you buy do have a federal tax attached to them, which means that the government can tax you through your goods and services by having higher prices, bringing in more money to the government, okay? So they can piss it away and send it to Ukraine and send it to China and send it to everywhere but you. Is that, is that what you want? I mean, again, I, I don't know. I, I, the, more, the, the majority of Americans can no longer afford a house, okay? An average house. So again, we're, we're looking and it has nothing to do with the interest rates. It has to do with they're not making enough money because, of course, we saw the PCE inflation numbers, the PCE PCE numbers, which shows that, of course, Americans are spending 2% more per month than they're making. So, again, do the math. Figure out how long does it take you to go broke if you're spending more than you're making. Okay, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, But, you know, we have consumer sentiment misses, okay, uh, home buying conditions at record lows. Uh, the country is in great shape. Let's not talk about a recession that the middle class is suffering from because the wealthy are having the time of their life. Okay, The wealthy are taking advantage of the situation once again to accumulate assets because the middle class can't afford them. And it's a, it's a wonderful thing. Uh, and of course, m- s- there's a significant amount of Americans who believe that the economy and the the this that was significantly better under President Trump, which I happen to be one of them. Okay, and again, I don't. I am a libertarian. I am not neither left nor right. I believe that there are criminals on both sides of this aisle, uh, but I do not believe Trump is one of them. But of course, they continue to go after him, and of course, last week they found more charges to try to bring to him to continue to try to to play with his campaign. And actually what they're trying to do is they're trying to break him. Okay. Now you got to ask yourself, you know, you may not think that, and this is one of the biggest problems in this country today is that nobody thinks it can ever happen to them. Well, if they can do this to president Trump, you don't think they can do it to the other side of the aisle as well. You don't think they can do it to you. And I think this is something that you, you all ought to think about. And I know, listen, I, I get so many stupid ass emails and so many, so much fucking hate mail. From some of you. And hey, listen, I don't care. You can send me all the hate mail you want. Okay. I happen to be right in this particular case because if you look at what's going on with George Soros and the rest of the crew and the protests and the slime that he's promoting, okay, a a, a former Nazi sympathizer, okay, but nobody talks about that. Let's just keep, let's make sure that we keep the free money rolling. Let's register prisoners to vote, which I believe is against the law, but of course, I know that Biden in 21, 2021 made some uh, adjustments to the laws, okay? So they're registering prisoner, prisoners to the vote, okay? 
Now, again, China is in big trouble. And of course, you know that President Biden and, and Kamala Harris or Kamala, whatever the fuck her name is, OK, is, is going to help bail out China. Why? I don't know. I, I wouldn't bail out China. And I, and I do believe that we should be an independent. I don't believe that we should be sporting Ukraine and the rest of the world. I mean, that's my opinion. I'm entitled. OK, if you're entitled to send me hate mail, I'm entitled to give you my opinion. OK. Uh, and of course. Once again, we're getting screwed by the FDA because they're approving a, a, they're approving devices based on AI without true trials. OK, so it's amazing when it comes to money, how many things can get through. And of course, that's what the Ukraine war is about, too, is about money. It's not about protecting Ukraine. It's about money. OK. Uh, and of course, we continue to get the the rise in crime. Uh, and of course, it's hard to get real numbers. And somebody once asked me, could I send them what I got? And of course, you don't get the real numbers. But we do know that the FBI botched another child abuse investigation. And you have to ask yourself, is there is there a little quid, quid, quid pro quo here uh, with what's going on on the border? Are the drug dealers and the, and the child traffickers, are they paying off government to to move to bring these people across the border? Is is China paying off? Is are the are the politicians getting paid off? OK, it's to, to have these things to, to have these sudden misses. I mean, if we look back at some of the things that some of our officials have done, you have to wonder why Hillary Clinton is in, in jail. OK, you have to wonder why many of the other groups are not in jail. OK, and if you look back in the history of back in the presence, I would say that Reagan was a great president. I would say Clinton was a good president. He made one mistake. He didn't tell the truth. I mean, all he had to do is say, I did it. I admit it. And that was it. It would have been over. Uh, Bush was an idiot. Uh, Obama sent back civil rights 100 years. And of course, I think Trump was a great president. And I think this imbecile administration is the worst ever. But again, that's up to you. But of course, the economy is great, according to them. And you're seeing that Goldman Sachs is laying off 1,300 workers. Now, Goldman Sachs, the most successful most profitable bank in the world is laying off 1,300 workers. What does that tell you about the overall economy? And then you've got the implosion of the Chicago public unions. Okay, we know what, a, what an idiot run Chicago now and the idiot before, Brandon Johnson and Lori Lightfoot, okay? But, I mean, you, you, you get to continuation of, of what's happening. And what are we getting for it, okay? We're getting deeper in debt. We're getting more homeless, but suddenly... Before the election, we are suddenly getting some of the areas cleaned up, okay, because it's right before the election, okay? Again, I, I think you have to understand what, what is actually going on, okay? Because at the end of the day, you have media that speaks on one side of the aisle or the other, and we know that we are a left-dominated media society. We know that our universities are left-dominated, Okay, and again, I'm listen. I'm not against the left. I'm against what's going on now. I'm against the squad, which we're seeing that many others are against the squad as well because they're getting voted out. I'm against the AOCs of the world that want globalism and don't and want to destroy your opportunity to make a living. Okay, that's what I'm against. I'm not against anything else. I'm against them trying to steal our money, your money, and of course, Kamala Harris says that well. She's got this great economic plan, which half of it comes from what Trump has said. But I have a question, uh, Vice President Harris. If you had this great plan, where the fuck was it the last three and a half years? When Americans were struggling, where was your great plan to take care of things? I mean, you have not been down to the border. You have allowed the immigration of illegals at a record pace that, of course, you've also made it available that Americans, pay, Americans can pay their tax dollars for it. You facilitated paying for the bail and things in the Black Lives Matter crisis. Okay, you and George Soros, who, again, has funded many of these, these protesting groups around the nation, and he's trying to infiltrate all 50 states. But again, who, who is it? Okay, who are you and what do you want? Okay. I, again, don't you people understand what is going on, that you are losing your freedom? Your freedom of speech has already disappeared. Okay. And of course, Mark Zuckerberg, okay, censored the COVID and the hire button la laptop story when it came out. 
Now, if that was the other side of the aisle, you know that it would have been blasted all over the place. Okay, so really, you have to understand, you have to wonder, okay, can it happen to you? And, and, I, and I tell you that, yes, it can happen to you. This, this is not, this is, we are no longer a free country the way that we were growing up. We are no longer in the same position, okay? We are now living in, on the cusp of either being able to stay capitalist or moving into communism, socialism, whichever one you want. And, 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 and if the left, if the squad gets their way, we will have globalism, which means you'll have nothing, which means that you will be a serf or a slave. You can figure it out, okay? But the empire, the United States empire is teetering. And if you've you got a choice, you've got about 63 days to figure out if you want this to collapse or you, you want to continue giving away your hard-earned money and your assets to be a part of this. So it, it's really up to you, okay? At the end, as I've said many times, I'm old. It isn't going to have as much of an effect on me. It will affect my kids and your kids. But you want to keep giving up your freedom? Hey, go for it. That's on, that's on you. But remember, you heard it here. And if you've listened to me for any number of years, many of the things I have said in regards to this have come to fruition. And we're seeing it happen again. But again, that's up to you. Enjoy and have a good time. And in the meantime, this is Bubba's Bottom Line. We're going to step out here for a break. It is September the 1st. We'll be right back with our market update after the break. Bubba's Bottom Line. What's up, kids? Well, I hope everything is well. And of course, you know we have a couple of sponsors for the show, and they are brokerage partners. Uh, again, I have many brokers, so I don't want you to get, you know, again, I'm not trying to push you there. What I'm trying to do is giving you what I believe to be the best for the individual investor. And of course, that's Capital Trading Group, who does all of our futures and commodity letter of direction trading. We're partners with them on a couple of products. And of course, we want to help you. And then there's, of course, Trade Your Brokerage. That is $10 a month flat for, for options. I mean, again, I, it saves me over $100,000 a year in commission. In the meantime, check them out. They're on the website on the side. But again, they're, like I said, it, it doesn't cost you anything to check. Maybe you'll actually see it. You'll save yourself a lot of money. But maybe you don't care. And that's why you're with Harris. I don't know. But I, can't, I can't give you that answer. In the meantime, in our high school program, which we're trying to teach some financial literacy, scrolling on the bottom. In the meantime, let's get back to Bubba's bottom line with me, Todd Bubba Horowitz, and of course, our market update. Welcome back. It is Bubba's bottom line. It is Sunday, September the 1st, and of course, football's back, so we'll be giving you our football selections later as well. Uh, but of course, markets had another up week. It, was, it wasn't easy, okay? It was up and it was down, and it was kind of wild, but basically closed a little bit higher than it did the, the week before. Uh, and we continued to rush, and uh, the S&P closed at an all-time new high. Uh, and of course, we were we are long all of the indexes with the exception of the Russell. And again, remember when I give you today is not necessarily going to be our position tomorrow, uh, because again, at the end of the day, uh, we could be flat tomorrow. We won't be opposite the direction that we are now. So right now, all th three of the four indexes are long. The Russell would be short. Okay. Uh, as we look along the, the the currency world, the dollar, which we no longer trade, and it has nothing to do with our our our. Uh, our feeling of the dollar itself, it has everything to do with the cost of trade. But the dollar, we would be short and the dollar is pushing down uh, and getting ready to maybe turn to the long side. And of course, the euro currency, we are short. Okay. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, we are long. And uh, in the bonds and notes, we are, are long notes, short bonds. Uh, but I would think that, that the, the notes will probably turn here shortly to the short side. Uh, we're long gold, we're long silver, which is uh, a, a, been a, it's been wild. I mean, and again, it's day to day, it gets a little bit ugly, but uh, on platinum, we don't trade, but we would be short platinum if we did trade it. And that's unfortunate because I do like platinum. But in the meantime, in copper, we are, are, are long, okay? In the grain markets, uh, we're going to be long soybeans. Uh, again, tomorrow, the markets are closed. So uh, tomorrow night, uh, you can buy soybeans or, or, or Tuesday morning, that's up to you. Uh, we're still short wheat and we're still short corn. And again, I don't know what the issue is here, but uh, there's the biggest short position being held in, in the grain market since 2019 by the funds. So I think it's just something to watch out for. And I think if we do get a short covering rally, you will see an explosion. But right now, uh, certainly if I were to do one or the other, I'd be a buyer. But for, again, and I, I, I am long corn, but I, I, again, I, I'm sure short corn, but I'm long corn in a separate account. 
And the, the, the meats, cattle, I'm still short cattle. I'm still long hogs. We don't trade them anymore, but I'm, I'm short cattle, long hogs. And of course, uh, natural gas, we're still short. Uh, again, I, I'm looking for a spot to buy down here. If we can get a one more sell-off, we're getting to that time of year when it could get crazy. Uh, crude, uh, we're, we're, we're short. And of course, in the softs, uh, we're short. All the short softs except for uh, except for coffee and or OJ, but we don't trade them anymore. So again, I don't track them as closely, but we are short them all. In the meantime, again, I think that you got a market that is, you know, again, it still wants to go higher. So I don't think anybody should be thinking, well, it's not going higher. Yes, I have said, and I go on the record, I believe there's a 50 to 70% haircut coming. And it's been maybe a year, year and a half since I've said that. But I've also said, and give you my positions every day. So it's not like I'm hiding and making this prediction, doing the opposite. I'm telling you that I can't predict when, but remember August 5th, three weeks ago or four weeks ago, just shows up and one day it'll just show up and we'll see. In the meantime, this is Bubba's Bottom Line. We'll step out here for a break and we'll be back with our commentary. What up, kids? Just a reminder, our our brokerage partners, and again, I do have other accounts, other brokers, but Capital Trading Group, Trader Brokerage on the side, high school program on the bottom. And now let's get back to Bubba's Bottom Line and of course, my commentary. Welcome back. It is Bubba's Bottom Line. It is Sunday, September the 1st. And, you know, I've got friends. Well, maybe I, maybe I don't have friends, but I think I have a couple of friends. And I have a pretty good friend of mine. Uh, we've been friends for a long time and been through some things together. And, in fact, I watched part of his major success take place. I was with him at the time. Uh, and he happens to be on the opposite aisle of where I sit, which is fine. Again, I, I don't hold it against anybody which side you're on. I just want you to vote. The truth of the matter is get off your ass and vote. But in the meantime... We've been having conversations. We go back and forth. And I got this text the other day from him. I'm going to share it with you. And it was over the past seven years, the United States has experienced 11 recessions. 10 of the 11 recessions have occurred under GOP presidents. And the, the one recession under Democrat was the, the mid of the, 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 the mildest of the 11. Well, I wouldn't call uh, that mild. But again, I don't really care uh, about that. I, I, don't, I don't think that the president has anything to do with the overall recession. I think some of their policies do, but you could look at that either way, okay? And of course, my my direct response was that uh, I said, I never really realized how left you were, okay? Uh, and then that the left brings us a better stock market, more jobs, less debt, less recession. Well, the jobs number is horrible, and they've already admitted that the jobs were, were horrible, okay? People are having to work two and three jobs, the middle class is in a recession, even though they don't admit to it. See, that's another problem that we have to always face is that economists don't tell you that a recession until it's too late. OK, and then they can define the timeline in which they want. So, again, I always have to question the accuracy of when the recession actually was, which like I have to question the actual the the actual numbers that are out there. Again, you don't get a fair and square report when you look at government reports. And you just saw that proven, as we've talked about many times, in the jobs. Because I told you the jobs were bullshit the entire time. And yet, after a year, they came out with the adjustment. Okay. Anyways, and I go, well, you get you get communism, communism, no free speech. Destroys Paul's business is great. Slavery, racism, keeping the poor in their place. Not to mention making states like New York, California, Connecticut, Illinois, unaffordable for the average middle class. They're the best. And I wish... I wish one of them, but only you rich guys love that. And of course, the guy that I'm speaking of is in the upper 10%. Okay. So of course, he's happy with the situation that's going on here. But at the end of the day, again, you have to make your own decision. Either you think that I'm right and I know and I'm giving you facts, which I believe that I am. I, obviously, some is opinion, but I believe I'm giving you the facts. And this administration has not done a good job. Okay. And they want higher prices so you can pay higher taxes so that they can collect more money and you don't know that you're paying more taxes because you're paying it through inflation. In the meantime, this is Bubba's Bottom Line. And of course, it is a football night tonight and it is LSU in Las Vegas. LSU against USC. I'm going to lay the four points with the LSU Bayou to Bayou Bengals or the Bayou Tigers, whatever the hell they are. In the meantime, have a great week, everybody. Enjoy your day off tomorrow and we'll see you back here on Tuesday with Bubba's Daily Update. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you later.